How difficult is it to raise capital? You've had the experience. Can you give us some insights into raising capital for a startup business in Canada? Yeah, so, so raising business for a startup in Canada is, is, is a real challenge. I mean, uh, I've been through this a couple of times, uh, one, one right from scratch, uh, family and friends, you know, you, you bring them in, you promise them that, that things are going to go well, uh, you put your personal relationships at risk, but, but that money is love money, it's, it's not too hard to get. The, the second phase is much, much harder. I, I think there are lots of investors who'd like to invest, but connecting with them and finding a vehicle or a process by which they can invest is really, really challenging. So, so getting getting to that next level, the half million dollar, is where the real, real challenge is. There's lots of VCs willing to put in five million, ten million, maybe even two and a half million. The the angels have dried up. They they find it very, very difficult to get the vehicle right without getting squeezed down later. Uh, so so raising that sort of hundred thousand to half a million dollars, maybe a million dollars, is where the real challenge is. And often, you know, today with with the internet. You don't need $10 million, you don't need $20 million. you just need to get going and get that first nucleus of the idea out on the street and get your first clients. So that's where the, the biggest challenge is. So how is crowdfunding a solution for the raising of capital for new ventures in Canada? So, so I guess to discuss crowdfunding, we have to understand what it is and, and, and you know, what's happened with, with the internet, with social media. You know, people can reach out to an awful lot of people very quickly and friends of friends and, and friends of friends of friends and suddenly you can have a hundred, a thousand people interested in your venture. Crowd, crowdfunding is the idea that you might go out to these people and ask each of them for a for hundred dollars, for a thousand dollars and suddenly raising a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand dollars, which is often what's needed for these very early stage companies, is quite achievable by reaching out to a large number of people. So, so it is an opportunity. Uh, to, to, to make those connections, to get your business idea out there so that people see it, get excited about it, and maybe want to put $500 or $1,000 in it. So that's, that's my vision of crowdfunding. Is crowdfunding possible in Canada? Is it possible in any jurisdiction? You know, that's, that's a great question. Is, is crowdfunding something you can actually do? Uh, uh, you know, technically, uh, my understanding, and I'm not a securities lawyer, but I've been around business long enough to, to understand and part of public companies to understand the, the securities environment. But right now in Canada, as in the U.S., uh, if you reach out to a large number of investors, that is in reach of most of the security acts. And, and so, no, it's not legal. And so, you know, there's, there's a legislative process that has to go hand in hand with the change in, in, in the sort of social media, the internet, uh, to allow investors to go out or, or companies to go out and seek those investors. Uh, to bring that money in. So, so right now, no, the structure is not in place.